single week we do the great search with DigiKey. Where in the world is that part that I need on DigiKey? Lady Ada. We're going to find out. Okay, so let's go back to my computer. All right, so we're going to try to reduce the quiescent current of my circuit. It's drawing 250 microamps in sleep mode. I want to reduce that more, but I'm stuck right now because my regulator, the AP2112, it's a lovely regulator, but the quiescent current is 80 microamps. Ugh, it's low, but it could be lower, right? Maybe we can get to like 10 or less. That can make a big difference. You know, if, if I can reduce the um, quiescent current by a third or a quarter, it means it runs for that much longer in sleep mode, right? Good, good things. And uh, I'm, I'm interested in that now. So let's see if we can find it a, you know, we're not going to find a perfect duplicate minus that quiescent current for the same price, right? Obviously, if it existed, I would have picked it. But let's see what we can do to find something close and ideally drop in replaceable because then I don't have to respin my board design, although like I'm willing to do that. Um, but it would be cool if I could just like swap in, a, you know, a different regulator and just, you know, maybe it's a little bit more expensive, maybe the dropout's a little higher, but the quiescent is much better. And so it's great for low power usage. So let's check it out. Okay, so go into DigiKey and I'm going to just search for uh, you know, voltage regulator to start. I like to start nice and vague. And this is, by the way, the AP2112. And, you know, one thing you could do is you could go through and you could click um, some of these things to get a similar chip. But I actually want to be a little bit more freeform in my search. Um, again, there's like so many different regulators, like power supply, you know, powers and power supplies is a huge part of engineering. But we just want the linear regulators. Now, one day in the future, maybe I'll upgrade my design to use a buck converter. You know, there's very low quiescent buck converters, but I'm going to stick to the LDO. It, it's small. It's effective. My dropout is, you know, very minimal. It's not like I have like 16 volts going down to 3 volts. I'm going from like 3.7 to 3.3. So I want, I want, you know, like at 200 milliamps or so, I want to like not have a dropout of higher than uh, 400 milliamps, uh, millivolts, if possible. Okay, so start out with, of course, I only want the active and normally stopping, stocking items. So let's, let's do that, and you can cut down the quantities quite a bit. Um, I'm going to, you know, there's outputs, you can have adjustable ones, where, like, you have, like, a twisty, like, not a twisty knob, but a um, uh, resistor divider. Um, in this case, I don't know, there's adjust sometimes there's, like, adjustable, and they can also be fixed, but I basically just want these. I don't want programmable, I don't want adjustable. I want it to just like spit out 3.3 volts. I'm like, I'm not interested in anything else. I also only want one regulator. And I want, um, I don't think I need to worry about this because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that voltage output. So there's, for adjustables, you know, you'll want the minimum and, and maximum. But if you only want a fixed output, you just go to the, uh, oh, shoot, sorry, click the wrong thing. Um, you only want the output voltage min fixed. I'm going to scroll down until I get to 3.3. We had a couple different options. So it looks like there's like a couple, like there's sometimes variations and stuff. But these look good. Apply. Okay, it's thinking. Great. Um, okay, next up, I want current output. So, you know, I need it to be somewhat close to what I've got now. The current regulator I've got the 600 milliamp output. 600 milliamp is like quite a bit. You know, I could live with as little as 500, but I don't want to go below 500, right? So let's pick 500 and then, I mean, we'll go up to like seven and a half amp, but I know that there's no seven and a half amp one in the package I'm going to use, but whatever, just, you can just select it and then we'll get rid of those later. Okay, now we're up to the important part, which is the quiescent, right? So the one we have now is like up to 80 max. I think I'm going to say, and you know, it goes, it goes high quite fast. Like, if you're not looking at the quiescent current, like, believe me, you get regulators with, you know, like it says here, like up to 20 milliamps quiescent. And the quiescent current is the current that it draws even when no other current is being used. Like, that's the, the current of the regulator itself, not the output. It's like what it itself draws from the power supply. So I definitely want it to be less than 80. I actually kind of want it to be less than like 50. I'm going to say like 25 or less. And it looks like you can go down to one microamp. And you can see like 
when you're picky about um, when you're when you're picky about uh, the quiescent current, you know, it tells you how many are remaining. It like drops really fast. So let's let's see, let's see what we got here. Okay, so there's a couple options, um, and normally I would, you know, sort by price. But here's the thing. So I kind of want one that is the same like size and best off, you know, if possible, the same package. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is there's not that many of these. I'm actually going to try to get rid of some of the ones that are like the SOT 89, which is like a larger package size. I'm not going to be able to fit that on my board. And like, especially not this. This is like a TO 263. If it's a TO anything, there's like no way I'm going to fit that on the board. So let's get rid of like the very chunky boards. So all of these TOs, sorry, you got to go. And I'm also going to get rid of the um, 6 SOIC. And I'm also going to get rid of the SOT 89s. Those are huge. But the rest of these might fit, right? So let's, let's apply. So now I've got only about 27. Okay, we're doing better. Um, so of these, the first thing I can do is, well, so the price is a little sneaky because, again, remember, that's for, the in, for individual units. And I want to compare this to the AP2112, which has a price of about like, you know, 10 to 7 cents. It's kind of another reason I love the AP2112. It's so cheap. It does such a good job and it's so inexpensive. Um, so I want something comparable in price. Um, and you can't search by price range, but that would be really cool if Digikey added it. So maybe they'll, maybe they'll be inspired. It'd be cool to say like, for that quantity, here's how much I'm willing to pay. But uh, what we'll do instead is we'll go to the view prices at and we'll just put in like 5,000 because I don't really care about the price individual, right? If, if one is 60 cents and one's a dollar, but when you get to the real quantity, up to real quantity, they're both basically six cents or seven cents. It doesn't, it's not gonna make a big difference. Okay, so now we're here. Um, well, here's the deal. I definitely don't want a BGA. I just, I'm, you know, I'm judgy. So let's get rid of the BGAs. So let's, let's see, all of these and then subtract the BGA. Let me just, just get that right out. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're actually looking at, you know, the pricing and the pricing is actually not too bad. Like, you know, the AP2112 is like 10 cents. So I'm gonna pay more, um, but I'm not gonna pay like super crazy amounts, right? It's not like, I mean, it does get high. It gets up to a dollar, um, but Oh, and there's the Rochester, which we can remove as well. So let's let's not include Marketplace, because I don't want the Rochester, which is there. they sell parts that are discontinued. You can still get them. Um, okay, and then, so here's kind of something interesting. So it looks like regulators are starting to come in this package, which I've never used, but I'm actually, I kind of think it's adorable. Um, it's got like big distances between the pads, um, but it's physically quite small. So this is interesting to me. So even though I may not use it in this particular situation because I already have the board spun out like and, and done, I don't want to change it. Um, I do find I do find this package um, intriguing. Okay, so we've got a couple options here. Uh, there's two SOT 235s and some DFNs and some more SOT 235s. Looks like there's a bunch of SOT 235s and that's the package I'm replacing. So let's just select that. Wait, uh, I also want, sorry, I would like to TSOT, yeah, let's see. Okay, so that could give me the thin ones, the thick ones. Okay, so this is it. These are my options, which is like really nice. I've actually pared it down to like, you know, a screen full. There's only six options. And the next thing you can do is, again, you can't sort by price, but there's a couple options here by price. Then you can go all the way to the right and you can look at the things that might be most important for you. So for example, um, there's ones with like eight microamps and 0.7 volt dropout. Uh, this one might have a slightly lower dropout, also 600 milliamps. This one's only one microamp um, and has one amp output, which is like really impressive. So that's the, but the pricing gets a little higher, like we're paying 35 cents. So I'm actually, you know, the one I actually think I like the most is this four microamp, 600 milliamp output. 
and about 0.5 volt at 600 milliamp um, dropout because I don't need this high voltage range but I like that it's only four microamps like I think that's gonna make a big difference in this situation so I'm gonna pick up some of these RT 9080s and here's a, a tip if you're ever using these regulators so blessedly unlike many other devices including transistors pretty much every company that makes regulators in the SOT 23-5 package, which is a very common size, they all use the same pinout. So you can verify here, it goes V in ground, enable, and then you know, no connect and V out. And the same thing here, V in ground, enable, no connect and V out. So this can just pop right in. Just make sure that you have like the right, you know, again, voltage range, capacitance, whatever things it needs. But I can actually just try this on the board, so maybe next week by the time I get the chips, swap it in, see the quiescent current, hopefully it should drop by like at least 60 microamps, so that will be a very nice improvement in my design. All right. And that was a great search with HQ this week. Regulator found.